It's people. They're not loving people, they're just pains. Uh, I don't like them. The contrast is in verse 40, 40, um, 32 of Ephesians 4. Be you kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Now, you're to be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. There's people, the only reason they're bitter is they forget what God did for them, how gracious he's been to them. They, they kind of start assuming, well, I know I'm saved, as though they did something to save themselves. Uh, I know I, well, uh, 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 yeah, as though you did it. No, you didn't. God did it. And, and, and you only have what you have as a gift. And you can't turn around and have bitterness without destroying yourself and a lot of other people. Is that plain? Most destructive thing. Now, I love this little um, quote from Harry Emerson. Harry Emerson Fosdick. I hope I pronounced it right. It says, bitterness imprisons life. Love releases it. Bitterness paralyzes life. Love empowers it. Bitterness sours life. Love sweetens it. Bitterness sickens life. Love heals it. Bitterness blinds life. Love anoints its eyes. Uh, uh, bitterness, it does, uh, I'll repeat it. You want to listen to it. Bitterness imprisons life. Love releases it. When you're bitter, boy, you just can't, you, you just are locked in. You're locked in with yourself and your bitter thoughts. Love releases it. Bitterness paralyzes life. You can't do anything when you're bitter. I'll tell you what happens. Everything you do turns to failure in the end. In the end, it'll destroy you. Bitterness will always destroy. Because it will come up and it will bite you. But love empowers life. Bitterness sours life. You know, everything gets a sour taste to it. Love sweetens it. Bitterness sickens life. I've seen people get sick because they're just so bitter. Love heals it. Bitterness blinds life. Love anoints its eyes. Uh, you can't see clearly. Uh, I was talking to a young man, and, and you know, he was mouthing off in his gall of bitterness. Uh, and I said to him, you know, I said, the scripture says, Pull the beam out of your own eye. He could see what was wrong with this. He could see what was wrong with that. Who did you? You're all human. And I said, just a minute. The Bible says, take the beam out of your own eye and then you'll see clearly. Take the mold out of your brother's eye. When a man's bitter, he's got such a flipping beam in his eye, he can't see clearly to do anything. But they're the thorn bush. They like to correct everyone, the bramble. They think that, you know, people are secure getting advice from them. They're not. They'll be destroyed. Pull the beam out of your eye, fella. You won't ever, with bitterness, help anyone. You'll destroy them. You'll poison them because you are poison. And there are people like that. Come, people come to this church, they get offended at what I say. You know? Take offense at silly things. Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Bishop shouldn't say that. Well, he did. Uh, you know, I don't care. Uh, they, they, you can find offense. I, I give people opportunity to get offended. It's a gift. Um, Jesus did. You know, he kept it. Huh, the Pharisees kept thinking, you're speaking against me. He was. Smart they were. You know, people have got to realize that's what preaching's about. You know, when you look into the Word of God, it should show you what's in you. And if there's a reaction comes in you, you've got to say, what's working in me? And I'll tell you what's working. A root of bitterness. 
The only reason people take offense is because they're bitter inside. Can't take offense at truth. But when you've got that wrong seed in you, boy, it can bug you, can't it? Oh, no, no, is it? People are sitting there smiling at me. Mm. At least I think it's a smile. They're burying their teeth. Oh, no. It's you know, grit in them. You know, bit, you people are bitter, bitter, bitter. Terrible thing, bitterness. Terrible. It eats people. Destroys them. You think, why would someone get bitter? It, it just it gets in there, and then their mouth spews it out all the time. Destructive. Very destructive. I, I've often found people that never succeed at anything, they can always tell you why they didn't succeed. It's amazing how it's always something that happened or some bit of bad luck or something, uh, you know, and they're so negative. The reason they failed was because they had no faith in God. I'm amazed how great Christians can be when they have faith in God and they know that they've got to honor God. When you know you've got to honor God, then everything changes. Bitterness is not part of a Christian's life. Life is about setting a goal and believing you can accomplish it. Knowing that God put you there to do something. God put us on this earth. And I'll tell you, the only reason you won't accomplish what God wants in your life is because of bitterness. You get against God and fight God and you'll destroy yourself and others around you. It's when you realize your purpose in life is to fulfill God's will and to fulfill the Father's will. And you live for that and you don't care about anything else. When you suddenly get everything in perspective... Hey, God called me. God put me. But bitterness eats away, gnaws at the very wellspring and power within you, and destroys. And you look and you see young people eaten up. Inside, they're bitter. I watch young people. I mean, fools smoke. You know why it falls? Because it actually destroys your body. It just destroys your body. It's not clever or smart or cool to do it. It's just destructive. It's just like drinking vodka and double vodka. You find young people are foolish enough to believe that somehow booze is life. It's not life, it's death. Gets inside. I'll tell you why, because they're bitter. You only run after sin when there's a bitterness and gall of bitterness inside. And you're really against God. And you say, God, you're unfair. I'm missing out. Well, you don't miss.